What is up, Karatex? You join me back in the summer special update for GTA. The next vehicle we're going to be customizing is the Class A DR1. Brand new open wheel car. Absolutely gorgeous. Just shy of $3 million. It's actually the cheapest out of all the open wheel cars. You see the PR4 3.5, RDA 3.1, and the brand new Benefactor BR8 at 3.4. So this one's just shy of $3 million, so the cheapest out of them out of the four. And actually, as far as looks, my my personal favorite, um, I think it's a really good looking car. So this one is actually the only Indy car. All the other ones are F1 cars. So I already bought it right here. So the R88 and the PR4 kind of 80s slash 90s inspired F1 cars. Then here we have a more modern F1 car, Mercedes um, inspired F1 car. I think it's a 2017 and then here we have the uh, 2019 inspired IndyCar. So this one's primarily based off the 2019 Delara IndyCar. Very, very good looking IndyCar. And it's got an amazing amount of liveries as well, inspired by real life. They're gonna be seeing, so let's go ahead and get started. We also have new open wheel races added as well. There's a total of nine new ones. And if you kind of add together these seven old what ones, that totals that? 16 in total races. And then new open wheel race creator is now available so people can create their own tracks and stuff like that. So that's going to be fun. So armor, bodywork. So first event kind of adds a vent up there. Okay. All right. So I think definitely the Mark 1 vented. I've got that installed for you. Brakes, wow, sixty thousand dollars. Wow, super brakes. That's cool. Front wings. So you got more angled ones. Whoa, <laughs> look at that. It takes all of it away. Wow, that's crazy. But I kind of like that. The fins. It kind of adds to the design. Championship. Dual. That is nice. Wow. How many cars you got in this garage? Triple and then quad. That's a little, <laughs> a little excessive. I like the dual. That is. Very nice. Clap. What's the difference between that and the stock? Dual and... Oh, it's, they're just split. Okay. So it's the same as the stock, but this one is split. Okay. That's cool. I like that. It's a lot nicer in my opinion. Alright, engine. Got some machine under that bonnet. New exhaust. We got... Let me zoom in here. Aluminum. Titanium and then carbon. I think titanium. Because you can you can barely see them in there, especially when you're walking around it, because the bodywork and the wheels kind of cover it up. I think that kind of attracts more of the eye to it. Alright, liveries, here we go. You got Tencent Motorsports. Very nice. But Narc. Atomic 99. Seltua Circuit. Only motorsports, Redwood Life Racing, Stanchia Tobacco, Candy Box Racer. That's a nice, that's a fun one. Team Globe Oil. That one is sick. That's like a, like a plane. That's like, that's super cool. I like that. Wow. You know, I might do that one. Hmm. Might as well. I think I'm gonna do this one. That one's sick. Making Mirrors. Carbon. Lightweight, so a little smaller. Hmm. Which one are we gonna do? I kind of like the stock ones because they're a little thinner. These are a little like more square. I don't know, I like the stock ones, especially in the livery color. So we're gonna keep that. Nose fins. Oh, look at that. That's sick. If you a balance split. I can do it. Wow, carbon. That's incredible. Okay. I think I want to make it kind of discreet. I think the split one, primary color, you don't really see it that much. It's just there. See nice. that? Nose panel. Twin inlet. Jeez. There's a lot of parts for this thing. The second one there, large inlet. Let's do Doesn't that. She look pretty? Respray. So I think I'm gonna go. Let's let's just see how this looks when we change the color. Wow, that's pretty sick. So I think I'm gonna go metals. Go brushed aluminum. That is sick. Brush steel. 
The brushed steel is pretty nice too. It's like a metal texture. The brushed aluminum is nice too. Look at brushed no aluminum. Brush that is awesome. I really wish we can paint cars uh, carbon fiber. I think that would be super cool. You can paint a car entirely carbon. Imagine this thing, like just no livery, all carbon fiber. That would look incredible. Secondary. What's our secondary? Uh, I don't see anything changing. Oh, the rear spoiler. Okay, there's that. What else? Technology and budget permitting. Probably any other, you know, custom option you choose that's secondary. See inside, nothing changing in here. Okay, um, I, just, I guess I'll just color match it. Brush aluminum. Okay. Roof fins. Carbon. Split. Whoa, extreme, and then carbon. Might do carbon on this one to give it some contrast. Let's do that. You've got an eye for this stuff. Rear spoiler. You got lightweight. Oh, look at that. So if you if you put well, all these have different traction stats. Look at that. I think that was the same case with the other open wheel cars. But here you can actually see it. That's incredible. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna put which one I think you know my personal opinion that I like. We have stock. We have this one that removes the fins, which I like that one a lot. Got that one, that one, that one, and that one. So I like the lightweight wing a lot. And I think that will probably give us more top speed. Remember, the open wheel cars are very special. They're not like the other uh, open, uh, other cars in the game. Different spoilers and stuff does affect your speed, your straight line speed, your handling, stuff like that. I'm going to do that. Transmission. Turbo. Wheels. Okay. All the different F1 wheels or open wheel wheels because now we have an Indy car. Can't just call them all F1s anymore. These are my favorite wheels and out of all of them in here. It's the grid line. I love those. Let's go grid line with the stripe. Let's do the stripe. Do you need a drink? And we can go wheel color and then do the stripe in red to match. Look at that. Awesome. Let's do tire design. The rare time I put tire lettering on these things. The red one, is that a little bit too much red? I think the atomic logo, the plain one, that one's nice. Okay. And that's it. That's all the options there. Not bad. Pretty cool looking. All right, let's take it for a drive. I'm excited to see how this feels compared to the PR4 and RD8. I've driven the PR4 a lot, so kind of be interesting to see how it compares. See how it sounds. Wow, it's like a cross between Turismo and a. Then it has like the high revving. That's crazy. They're from first person. Wow, look at that. A little tiny screen. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's go for it. And of course, this does have the curves as well, like the uh, other open wheel cars. First person. Wow, these things in first person are so cool. Let's take a corner, hit the boost. Oh, <laughs> complete controller, a little bit of a bump. Definitely might need one of the larger rear spoilers. Back end came out on me there really badly. Boost. I do get the comment a lot, what button do you press for the boost? I know it's like an issue on PC. It's the same uh, button you press for the horn. Um, so, uh, for those of you on consoles, you just press your left stick in. Let's do, let's do a more high speed corners. But I'm definitely might end up putting um, one of the larger rear spoilers. <laughs> Full speed here. Feels pretty fast. 
It feels faster in a straight line than the other ones from what I can tell so far. Like, is that full speed? Let's see. I'm losing traction there, yeah. Definitely gonna need one of the larger rear spoilers. Alright, now let's go to the military base to try to take off all these panels. Alright, here we are, so... Usually you just drive through these pylons and then all the body panels just glitch off. So let's see if it does it. There we go, front splitter came off. Nothing else is coming off. Oh, there we go, we lost something else. Oh, there it goes. All of it came off. <laughs> this thing is so funny. Oh, I love these open wheel cars. Let's see what we got there. We got a Dinka racing engine, okay. So these cars in real life, they were either powered by a Honda or a Chevy uh, motor. Very cool looking. Um, and they all look kind of different when you take the panels off. Um, this one looks like the PR4 though. Well, you know, once the panels are off. Absolutely love it. Uh, great job, Rockstar. Um, I'm loving more open wheel cars. Hopefully they give us a Formula E one down the line. An electric one. That'd be kind of cool to see how it competes against the uh, gas-powered ones. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned for the next one.